All right, welcome back. Last time we talked about adding and subtracting polynomials, and this time in section 5-6, we're going to talk about multiplication of polynomials. So question one says to multiply the expression u to the sixth times 7u to the tenth. Okay, these are both monomials, and we're going to multiply them together. You multiply the numbers out front, and by the numbers out front, remember that there's an understood 1 in front of that u to the 6th, and then it's times 7 u to the 10th. And remember there's one or there's multiplication in between that number and the letter and the variable. So to multiply polynomials, you're going to multiply the numbers. So 1 times 7 is 7. And then do you remember how we multiply u to the 6th times u to the 10th? You're multiplying like bases, so we're going to add the exponents. So that's 7u to the 6 plus 10, which would be 7u to the 16th. For number 2, multiply the polynomials. This time we have a monomial times a trinomial. We've already done this uh, earlier in the semester. When you have one term out front, you just want to distribute uh, to the other three. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write it out this time, but I won't write it out as much next time. We're going to do 6PQ times, oh, sorry, that's 9PQ. We're going to do 9PQ times 6PQ minus 9pq times 2p plus 9pq times 6q. Okay, for the first term right here, 9 times 6 is 56. No, sorry, 54. p times p, p to the 1 times p to the 1 is p to the 1 plus 1, which is p to the 2. I need to write that out. P to the 1 plus 1 would be P to the 2. Now for the Q, I have Q to the 1 times Q to the 1. So I'm going to have Q to the 2. All right, here we go. For this, I have minus. 9 times 2 is 18. I have P to the 1 times P to the 1 which will be p to the 2. And then I still have this q as well. So that gives me negative 18 p squared q. For the last, whoop, 9 times 6 is 54. I have just p. And then I have q to the 1 times q to the 1. So I will get 54p q squared. Number 3, multiply the polynomials. You're used to seeing the monomial over here on the left. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put negative 6h on the left. So I want to multiply negative 6h times h squared minus 7h minus 12. We need to go distribute. So I'm going to do negative 6h times h squared. Negative times a negative is going to be plus 6h times 7h. And again, a negative. Hold on. A negative out front times a negative would give me a positive 6h times 12. Negative 6h times h squared. I have h to the 1 times h to the 2, so I'm going to add those exponents and get negative 6h cubed plus. 6 times 7 is 42. I have h to the 1 times h to the 1. If I add the exponents, I will get plus 42h squared. 
and last I get plus 6 times 12 is 72 and I still have an H. So that's 72H. My answer is negative 6H cubed plus 42H squared plus 72H. Number four, multiply the polynomials. Now we have a binomial times a binomial. There's two terms times two terms. And we're going to remember that we need to go FOIL. And what does that stand for? First, outer, inner, last. So for the first, we're going to do this multiplication. Y times Y is Y squared. For the outer, for the O, I'm going to do the outer terms, which would be Y times negative 6. I get negative 6Y. For the inner terms, the I for inner, I'm going to come down here with the 9 times Y, so plus 9Y. And now for the last, the L, the last terms on each one, so I've got 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. First, outer, inner, last. Okay, I notice that I have some like terms in here. I have two terms that have a Y. My answer is going to be Y squared minus 6Y plus 9Y is plus 3Y. And then I still have the minus 54. My answer is Y squared plus 3Y minus 54. Question five, multiply the polynomials. When you have a binomial times a binomial, you're going to go FOIL. The F stands for the first terms. So I'm going to multiply 2P times 4P, which is 2 times 4 is 8. P times P is P squared. Now for the outer terms. 2 times 4, or sorry, 2p times 4 is 8p. 2 times 4 is 8, and then you still got the p. So that's the outer terms. The inner terms, I'm going to go down on the bottom. Those are the inner terms. Negative 7 times 4p. 7 times 4 is 28, so I get negative 28p. And now for the last term. To multiply the last terms, negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. We're not finished because I see some like terms here. 8p minus 28p gives me negative 20p. And I still have the 8p squared minus 20p minus 28. That's my answer. We're going to get to FOIL a lot. Okay, multiply the polynomials. Here comes the first. You should be getting better at this. Negative 6Q times 1 is negative 6Q. Now for the outer. Negative 6Q times negative 2Q will be positive. Negative times negative is positive. 12Q squared. For the inner terms, 8 times 1 is plus 8. Now for the last term, 8 times negative 2q is negative 16q. 8 times 2 is 16. Do I have any like terms? Yes. Negative 6q minus 16q is negative 22q, and yes, I did just count on my fingers. Negative 16q minus 6q is negative 22q. Okay, I still have the q squared, so 12q squared minus 22q plus 8. Number 7, multiply the polynomials. 
And I see decimals, but I'm not going to worry about it because I have my calculator. For the first, 4t times 1.7t. Okay, 4 times 1.7 is 6.8. I'm going to have 6.8t times t is t squared. Now for the outer. 4t times 2.9. 4 times 2.9 is 11.6. Okay, I have 4t times 2.9 would give me 11.6t. First outer inner. Negative 8 times 1.7t is going to be negative. 8 times 1.7 is 13.6, and I've also got the T right here. Now for the last, negative 8 times 2.9 is going to be a negative. 8 times 2.9 is 23.2. Do I have any like terms? I have 11.6t minus 13.6t. So what is 11.6 minus 13.6? I get negative 2. So 11.6t minus 13.6t is negative 2t. Don't forget the 6.8t squared minus 2t minus 23.2. Number eight, multiply the polynomials. All right, for this one, I see that I have this monomial times a binomial times a binomial. I'm going to forget about that three first. I'm just going to stick it out front and leave it alone. Okay, now I'm going to multiply those two binomials using FOIL. First outer, inner, last. Okay, here we go with the first. Oh, hold on. With the first. 5y times 5 is going to be 5y squared. Now with the outer, 5y times 5z, 5 times 5 is 25, and then I have y times z, 25yz. Now for the inner, 2z times y is going to be plus 2 yz. You can write it as 2zy if you want to, but it's best to keep it in alphabetical order. Now for the last, 2z times 5z is 10z squared. Now don't forget that we have these brackets because we've got this 3 out here. <clears throat> Before I distribute that 3, I'm going to clean up what's inside, though, first. You see the 25yz plus 2zyz is 27yz. And I still have 5y squared. That's going to be plus 27yz plus 10z squared. Now, I have that. 3 on the outside. Now I get to distribute that 3 to each term. 3 times 5y squared is 15y squared plus 3 times 27yz. 3 times 27 is 81. We have 81yz plus 3 times 10z squared 
is 30 z squared. Okay, question nine. Notice that I have a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, when we were doing two binomials, so this is kind of over to the side. I will erase this in just a minute. A plus B times C plus D. When we foiled, watch the, watch the uh, order. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to multiply it and distribute it on both of those things that are on that second uh, set of parentheses. So that was my first and my outer. Then I came in here to this one and did the same thing. And that was my inner and my last. So do you see the, the arrows there? I'm going to do the same thing with number nine. I'm going to take this first one and multiply it with all three <clears throat> of that second set of parentheses. Then I'm going to come back and take this one and multiply it with all three of the second set of parentheses. All right, so here we go. First one, let's take 5w times 25w squared. 5 times 25 is 7, uh, let me go do that on the calculator, is 125. I have 125. Now W times W squared is W cubed. Next, 5W times 25W. We just saw that 5 times 25 was 125. But now I have W times W, which is W squared. Last one up top, 5w times 25 will be 125w. We're halfway there. Now for the second one, negative 5 times 25w squared is going to be negative 125w squared. Negative 5 times 25w is negative 125w. Last but not least, negative 5 times 25 is minus 125. Do we have any like terms? How about the w cubed? I only have the one 125w cubed. Now for w squared. 125w squared minus 125w squared, those are gone. How about the w's? 125w minus 125w, that's gone. That's zero. And then I still have the minus 125. I cannot combine these because these are not like terms, so I am finished with that problem. Number 10, multiply the conjugates. What makes them conjugates, this one, they look exactly the same except the sign in the middle of them. One of them is a minus, one of them is a, a plus. That's what makes them conjugates. Okay, we're just going to FOIL. So here we go. First, m times m is m squared. Outer, m times negative 2 is negative 2m. Inner, 2 times m is plus 2m. And last, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Like terms, negative 2m plus 2m, that's 0. My answer will be m squared minus 4. <clears throat> 